Hello, top of the week to you and welcome to News Across Nigeria. I'm Olumide Makoli. On the program today, NLC protest enters second day in the nation's capital, Abuja, as federal government insists on no work, no pay directive. The Cross River State Government concludes screening of potential workers for its garment factory. And Kogi State Governor insists on civil service reform before disbursing the bailout funds. Thank you for joining us and we begin in the southwestern part of the country. Vice President Professor Yemi Oshibajo is in Lagos, the nation's capital, on a two-day working visit. The Vice President is representing President Mohamed Buhari and has commissioned some projects carried out by the state government. Professor Oshibajo wants residents of Lagos to, rest, to be rest assured of better living conditions and more economic diversification by the state government. He's commissioned the state emergency management agency rescue units in Kappa, Oshodi, and security equipment for the state police command and the Ago Palace Road in Okota area of the state. As a new wave of hostilities heats up in the Niger Re Delta region to the south-south now, the service chiefs led by the chief of defense staff have converged on or Jolomak Jetty in Okrika River State to step up security operations in the region. The Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Toko Borutai, says the commissioning of refurbished gunboats is part of collaborative efforts to provide the needed equipment to combat the security challenges in the oil-rich region. The Chief of Defense Staff, General Gabriel Olonishanki, on his part, says these gunboats refurbished by two brigade Nigerian Army will improve the capacity to curtail security threats in the nation's inland waterways. And four suspected pipeline vandals made up of a Nigerian and three Beninois have been arrested in Badagri by men of the Nigerian army and handed over to the Lagos commander of the Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps for further investigation. As of the time of their arrest, 218 25 liter jerry cans of petroleum products were discovered on them. The commander NNS Beecroft, Commodore Abraham Adaji, while handing over the suspects to the Lagos command of the NSCDC, said it was not within the jurisdiction of the naval force to prosecute the case any further. On the 10th of May 2016, men of the Nigerian Army, 9th Brigade Nigerian Army specifically, following intelligence reports, accosted some uh, uh, smugglers of petroleum products at Igbologun community in Badagri area of Lagos State. And subsequently, the exhibits and the suspects were handed over to the Nigerian Navy for further investigation and prosecution. However, the Nigerian Navy does not have uh, prosecution powers, and we have always worked hand in hand with the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps for the prosecution of uh, uh, people or suspects arrested in connection with uh, vandalism of our pipelines or other vital uh, national assets. Well, the next step that immediately we are going to start further investigation, which will eventually lead to prosecution. And because of our integrity and credibility, we will do that immediately. And I can assure you that we will leave no stain unturned to make sure that these suspects are dealt with according to the law. The Victim Support Fund has donated 35 million naira as support for military health facilities in Boronu State. The state government has also taken delivery of drugs and medical equipment worth millions of naira to help ease the burden of the now overstretched facilities in Meduguri, the state capital. The vice chairman of the fund, Mr. Tijani Tumsa, who made the presentation in Meduguri, 
says 16 health facilities in the northeast region have already accessed support. The Nigerian Air Force and the Army have been marrying their combat roles with medical outreach for internally displaced persons living in camps within Meiduguri as well as some liberated towns. 100 internally displaced persons have so far been operated upon by the Nigerian Air Force with many treated for various health issues under the medical outreach. The Victim Support Fund assists the Air Force Hospital in Dalodi Camp, Meduguri, with 20 million naira. The military hospital in the 7th Division of the Main Malari Cantonment has also been overstretched with wounded soldiers, civilians and suspects. State-owned health facilities have already accessed 20 million naira earlier, provided for treatments of victims of bomb attacks and the internally displaced. State officials say the assorted drugs and medical equipment provided would support the evolving fund program of the state government. Clinics in the camp also come to the place and collect drugs. And then the other hospitals that are serving the community, where well, we have IDPs all over, we also tell them that if they have challenges, they should come. So everybody comes. It's like having one pot and more than 30 people feeding from it. So we will uh, please ask your good office to assist us with some more funds so that we can buy more drugs because the need is enormous. The Victim Support Fund has been providing support for victims of insurgency in northeast Nigeria with focus on three most affected states of Adamawa, Borno and Yobe. We are already running a variety of programs. One is the uh, Women Empowerment Program, which was uh, uh, started last year here in Medugri. That is going to be extended. There's also going to be programs to do with agriculture and programs to do with recoveries of public institutions going across the entire six states of the region. As the show of support continues to pour in soon, many of the displaced persons would have been empowered to be self-reliant when they return home, and many school-aged children also prepared to return to their classes. And in the southwest, the second division of the Nigerian army, Adekunle Faji Cantonment in Ibado, has flagged off a free health care services and screening exercise for its officers and men, as well as their families. The general officer commanding two divisions, Major General Laz Ilo, said the free screening became imperative to help soldiers, their families, and neighboring communities who could not afford regular checkups. It's a laudable program that is in consonance and projects the, the command philosophy and vision of the chief army staff, uh, which is to have an army that is professionally responsible in the discharge of its constitutional role. These two imperatives of professionalism and responsiveness is difficult to achieve without due emphasis on health, due emphasis on welfare and well-being of soldiers and their families. And very pivotal in that Welfare is issue of health. You're watching News Track on Channels Television. Coming up, the NMA calls for a comprehensive overall of health facilities. We'll also have the NATI speaking on NNPC remittance. Don't go away. <laughs>